Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the Excel multi-criteria VLOOKUP solution that um, is basically prominent and easy to use uh, instead of doing an index match. This is one way to really quickly get uh, a lookup done where you have two levels of criteria and you want to return a value based off of those two levels of criteria instead of one. So uh, it's not really a, a really difficult solution. It's way easier than using the index match in terms of uh, difficulty in creating the formula. Uh, but you do have to create a helper column, it's called, uh, on both of the sheets that you are using. So on our first sheet, we have the order number and a line number. And on the second sheet, we also have an order number and a line number. And what we want to do is actually concatenate each of those to have an order line number helper column. So what I'm gonna set is equals, uh, I'm gonna select the first column and I've got a pivot, or I've got a, a standard table that I'm actually using here. So you'll see that it uses the order number field and then gonna just use the ampersand um, symbol there and then I'm gonna select the line number column and I'm gonna hit enter. And that actually did the concatenation for me without actually using the concatenate formula. I'm going to go over to the reference page and I'll do the same thing here. We're going to type in equals and we'll select the order number as well as the ampersand symbol here again. And then we're going to select C, uh, the line number as well. I'm going to hit enter. And in a table, the beautiful thing about using a table is that it'll actually auto, auto populate your formula right down. Uh, to the entire data set that you're looking at. So what I have now is a uh, helper column that is available to me that we can use to actually apply our VLOOKUP. So I'm going to select column H now and I'm going to just type in equals and we're going to use the VLOOKUP formula. So VLOOKUP. And of course, when you're using formulas in Excel, it actually gives you a little bit of help here. It tells you what you want to do. So the lookup value that we want to look at, of course, is the order slash line number. So I'm going to select that. The second thing we want to do, so I hit comma there, we're going to get the table array that we are looking up against. So we're going to go to the reference page and we are going to select the entire area. What we can do is actually select the entire table here. So if I just select the entire table like that, so you can see that it says table two all. Um, let me just make sure that that actually worked. I'm going to delete some of this and then we're going to go reselect this entire region. So you can see table two all is my table array. And uh, we are looking at four columns out from the lookup value that we're searching for. So the order line number, we want to go over four columns. So it's A, B, C, D. So that's four columns over. And that is the column index number based off of that. So if we wanted to return the order number, of course, we would just select uh, two here in that case. And then true, you can see is an approximate match and false is an exact match. And we always for the most part, I like to always use exact match unless you're doing something funky with the VLOOKUP formula. So if I type in false there and I hit enter, you can see that I've actually returned the work order number um, based off of that information. So I have a set of data where I'm like, hey, I really want to know what the work order number is uh, for this order line. So we have uh, a specific uh, work order table that has referencing to the order number and the line number. We're able to actually go over there, look it up, and find the value, uh, find the work order number for the for each of the lines that are in our data set. So that is a really simple way to use a multi-criteria VLOOKUP. Um, this is kind of my solution to it uh, without actually using the index match formula. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, the VLOOKUP formula, of course, wasn't a full explanation on that, but if you do uh, need that, we can always you can always go and, and take a look online for information on how to use it in full. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you later. Thanks.